conversely, if we are to disregard the evidence from Sefer Shmot and maintain that Malchut does not incorporate mitzvot, it would justify a specific request of Ani Hashem Elokeichem with respect to the mitzvot. The problem with this, however, is that request should have been mentioned at the first possible opportunity following the Aseret HaDibrot, or the very least, when God began conveying to Moshe what was to become eventually the Tariag mitzvot. Why was this request delayed until the middle of Sefer Vayikra, Perek 18, where the laws of Arayot were formally transmitted to Bnei Yisrael? A further diuk relates to Rashi's use of the word Gzerotai when referring to the mitzvot. If, with the Ani Hashem Elokeichem, God is making a request regarding mitzvot in general, it is somewhat puzzling as to why Rashi does not use the more globally inclusive term mitzvot and write Mi'ata kiblug mitzvotai rather than Mi'ata kiblug zerotai.